hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to install MIUI ROM for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T both the devices and after a long wait we have uh, MIUI version 8 which is based on Android Nougat 7.0 so guys to download that and install you need to download the main file which I'll mention in the description below so you can just head over to the download section and download the file so I'll show you the file and this is the file which I'll be installing on my oneplus 3 and the same file I'll also mention the link in the description that you need to install on your oneplus 3t if you are oneplus 3t users so guys for that make sure your device is rooted and you should have TWRP recovery installed if you don't have TWRP recovery installed you can check out my other videos for that so now what I'll do is I'll reboot my device to TWRP recovery so once the device boots to TWRP recovery, you just have to wipe everything excluding internal memory. So you select everything from here, system, caches, data and there we caches. So once this is done, swipe to wipe and after this we go back and install the zip file which I have downloaded. So I go down and this is the version which is 7.6.8 and which is based on Android version 7.0. So you select this file and confirm to flash. So once the process is completed just go back and hit reboot system. So once the device reboots uh, you can just start with the process. So yes. So hit next and you get some Qualcomm display error you can just cancel it and proceed and select the language accordingly move next. So here you get an option to select your internet. I'll skip this also for time being I'll skip this and once your device boots up you get an option to select few theme option available here. So you can select any one of them I'll go with the default one. So. I go next and it says setup completes you are ready to rock so once the setup is completed so first thing what we'll do we'll go to settings and we'll go to about and check the device status and you can see MIUI version 8 7.6.8 and it's a beta version uh, which is based on Android version 7.0 and the security patch is 1st May so this is about the phone so now let's take a look uh, at the options available in this MI room and guys I'm not installing Google Play Store as of now but if you guys wants to install Google Play Store you can just use Google installer version 2.0 and if you still get some issues installing that do let me know in the comment section so let's take a look at few things which are required for normal usage so first we'll go to the fingerprint uh, option and we'll see whether it works or not so I go to add finger I go with a pen one two three four I think fingerprint is working without any issues so fingerprint is added let's take a look okay so no issues with the fingerprint so let's go to camera application and camera application shows uh, some error if everyone is facing the same issue with the camera uh, try installing some other camera like snapdragon or oneplus camera version 2.0 so you can install that so now let's go to settings and take a look what are the things available in this so first we go to display and display you can see you have system font available you can uh, download online because as of now I have not downloaded anything so it doesn't show up text size you can increase or decrease the text size from here next you have auto rated option pulse notification light that you can enable or disable so next we move to wallpapers wallpapers you have few options available here you can select on change and pre-installed wallpapers are available in this so next we go to theme themes I've already told five options are available here you can get more from the sounds you have uh, silent mode ringtone volume alarm volume everything you have vibrate on tap also vibrate for calls so we go back and next we have notification and status bar next we have uh, system and device settings in this we go to lock screen 
so here you have option to add your fingerprints and set password and you also have an option to launch your camera directly by pressing your volume down key twice so let's check we'll just turn off the screen and we'll press the volume down key twice so here camera uh, turns on but I don't know for some issue it is wor not working so okay some issues are there in this uh, version so we unlock the device we again go back to the settings and next we go to notification and status bar so in this you have options of show notification icons so you can enable this you get the notification icons there show connection speed you want your connection speed to be displayed it can be done by enabling this option next you have battery uh, indicator you, you can select percentage next you have an option of notification sheds in this you have collab after touch uh, show on the lock screen so these are the options here next you have home screen and recents so if you go here you have a uh, default launcher option available here turn on smart assistant fill empty cells lock home screen layout and show memory status after that you have second space and uh, this create a separate space on your phone using second space is like to have two devices next you have do not disturb option battery and performance storage and in additional settings you have date and time screenshot buttons one hand mode and accessibility so these are the things available in this so now i won't be recommending you guys to install or to use this because this is not stable at all you cannot use it as a daily driver so once stable version is out i'll make a video on that that time I'll make a proper review and the latest things which are available for the device and the features which are available in this room I'll be showing that this version is just a simple video to show you guys how to install and if you guys want to try and for the camera you can use uh, some other camera and a few errors which I'm getting that uh, I'll check on it after completing the video I'll also update you guys via comments or you can check out on my Facebook page regarding the issues what i am facing uh, after installing this nothing much in this video guys hope you like the video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up or if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day